remember when Derek Chisora threw the table, right? At Dillian White, or me, or Adam Smith, or whoever it was. When I went down, I tried to reason with him, and he come right up to me and he just said to me, do you want me to end this now? And I had two security in front of me, and I've never shit myself so much in my life, right? I'm looking at him right in these eyes, thinking, don't hit me. Whatever you do, don't hit me. The British Boxing Board of Control said, I don't think he can fight. We've got to make a stand. This is unacceptable, blah, blah, blah. I said, well, we've got to have, we've got to have a hearing. And now the thing is with Derek Chisora is, the worst thing that can happen if you're around Derek Chisora is the leg starts going like this, right? If his leg starts going like that up and down, you better clear the fucking room. <laughs> so we sat down, remember John, can't remember his name, the old QC says, Derek Chisora, welcome, welcome. <laughs> I thought, oh my God, this couldn't go anywhere. He said, well, Let's have a look at your resume, shall we? 2018, or whatever it was. Bit an opponent at the weigh-in. 2014, slapped Vladimir Klitschko at the weigh-in. The same night, or the next night, spat in the face of another man. Attempted to kiss another man at the weigh-in. Little bit of GBH accusations, I think, as well, thrown in along the way. And it went on and on and on, I'm thinking, and then he just, they just kind of like attack Derek. And I'm looking at Derek and he's just gone, why are, you, why are you having a go at me? And I went, oh no, oh no. What are you, what are you lot, what, what do you want from me? <laughs> and it started going, right? Now there's bottles of water everywhere and he's going, and the nostrils start blurring. And I just went, stop, stop the meeting. And he's like, what? I said, this is unfair to my client. You're putting him in an emotional, terrible place here. He's about to have the biggest fight of his career. This is unacceptable. I said, well, we've got to, we've got to have a hearing. I went, no, I need to talk to Derek outside. He's like, ready to smash, not just the room, the entire hotel to pieces, right? I said to him, I need 20 seconds from you, an Oscar winning performance where you can go in and just give us the greatest speech about your life, what the sport has done for you, how it's changed you as an individual, and how they must let you fight on Saturday night. He's like, okay. I thought, we've got absolutely no chance. He went in, he gave, it was actually from the heart, you gave the best 30 seconds. He said, this sport, it made me as a person, it gave me everything, I know I've made mistakes, I know I'm not perfect, but I need to fight, I need this opportunity. Finished 30 seconds, I went, right, now he's done. He's got to go because I can't have him sitting here mentally for this fight. Go, Derek. Anyway, he left the room. We carried on for 45 minutes. We stood outside waiting for the decision while he was downstairs having some food. I had my ear to the door. It was like four to three, we won by the panel. They called me in and they said, right, we're gonna, uh, we're gonna let him fight. I can't believe it, he said, but obviously we've got to penalize him, so he's gonna have a 30,000 pound fine. I thought that's reasonable, he's making a lot of money, he won't mind that. Um, so I went downstairs to see Derek and said, great news, you can fight. I can't believe you've got away with this, but you're gonna fight. I said, the only problem is you got a 30 grand fine. He said, you can fucking tell them to stick that out their ass. <laughs> I said, what? He went, I ain't done nothing wrong. I said, you threw a table at someone. You're like 30 grand, that's ridiculous. So then I thought, and at that stage, AJ, because it was his show, right? You were on the undercard. AJ owns the show, that's how we work. So AJ get, owns the financials. So I thought, oh, I better tell AJ he's got to pay the 30 grand. So I phoned AJ, I said, AJ, great news, because it was AJ was fighting Melina, and Chisora White was a, a big fight for the card. We needed it for the pay-per-view, you know. I said, AJ, great news, Chisora White's still on. Oh, well done, well done. Great for the show. I said, yeah, great for the show, great for the show. I said, but obviously, you know, there is always a fine in this kind of situation, and, um, you know, Derek just doesn't feel like he should pay it. Right, I said, and it's 30,000, so what we'll do is obviously we'll just put it into the show costs and on we go. Absolutely not. I said, what do you mean? He said, I'm not paying 30 grand for Derek. I went, well, who's gonna pay? He went, well, you are. <laughs> so at the first press conference, he said he would only play up in the build up to the fight if I got him a Rolex Sky Dweller. So that cost me 35 grand and the fine cost me 30 grand, 65,000 pounds to watch him fight. But one of the greatest fights I have ever seen at the Manchester Arena. You enjoy it? Dillian White against Derek Chisora.